All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and talk Valentina. Y'all, I haven't talked about sis in so long because she makes me want to fall asleep. Somebody get me a pillow, grab me a blanket, and turn on my favorite movie that I don't mind falling asleep to. Because that's what Fallon Pina gives. That's the vibe she gives. I mean, beautiful, stunning woman, gorgeous. I mean, you cannot take away from the fact that sis is beautiful. But there's just no personality. So I was scrolling and trolling on my Instagram page, minding my business, not bothering a soul. And I ran across this little promo announcement that she did, commercial. Um, yes, I do follow Fallon Pina. Don't ask me why. Um, I mean, she was a really big hot topic all of a year ago. So I had to follow sis. Um, and she was on Housewives. I did like her at first. At first, I did like sis. Um, I thought she was actually going to bring something. But then when I saw her at that Halloween party, you know, with nothing but candy corn and some Tito's vodka, I was like, oh yeah, sis, you're not, you're not housewives material. It's giving no personality and no party uh, planning skills. But with that being said, yes, I do follow sis because she was a trending topic. Um, and I guess I still follow her for moments like these when she decides to be a little copycat. Now, with that being said, she did come out with this little commercial. She's naked. Uh, it's very sexual and sensual. She has the wet hair, the oiled body. You know what I mean? Gorgeous, stunning, beautiful woman. Her uh, fiance, Jalen, is also featured. You know, it's definitely giving skin and bones. And that's not a diss because I'm definitely skin and bones too. I'm 6'2 and ain't got no fat and no muscle. So me and Jalen, we got something in common. Um, um, real cute commercial, I guess. Her caption says, hashtag book release summer of 2022, hashtag sinless. Now, we have House of Glam in the comments, who I know is a Fallon fan. We have uh, Tisa Tells in the comments, who put some popcorn emojis. I know she is a huge Fallon fan and a Porsche hater. Um... And I guess they're excited about this book release. Now, I'm going to be honest at the situation, and this is going to sound really petty, but this is my channel, and who going to check me, boo? Uh, it was giving hashtag copycat vibes. Portia did it first. Vibes. <laughs> How Ray J said, I hit it first. Now, Fallon may have hit Simon first, but Portia definitely was going to the bank with her Trump checks and her Simon checks and her coins from her book first. So, um... Yeah, it was definitely giving, oh, Portia already did this. Now, I don't know if this is going to be like a novel, if it's going to be fiction, like a made-up story, one of those hood flicks, like Hot Lana Wives, like how Sheree did, or if it's going to be like a biography, memoir, kind of something sort of like Portia and Lanithia had. But um, I guess uh, Fallon found her little ghostwriter and she's coming out with a book. I guess we'll see what it's about. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all want me to talk about this book, if y'all want me to read it. Honestly, my first uh, thought was, hell no, I'm not going to read this book, okay? I mean, sis already makes me want to fall asleep, so if I read her book, baby, I'm going to be out by the second page. However, if y'all want me to, I'll go ahead and do it, you know, and we can scrutinize every single line because I know it was a lot of bloggers on YouTube reading every single line of Portia's book. Um... And just calling out all of the lies. I mean, Portia could have said, I woke up on Tuesday morning and y'all would have said, uh-uh. Because I remember and I have sources and they told me that she woke up on Wednesday morning, not Tuesday. If y'all don't shut y'all bored asses up. Anyways, moving right along. <laughs> um. Okay, Candy and Riley... Let's see, do I have this on my computer, Candy and Riley? So, yeah. Candy, you know, her baby daddy, Block, has been on Vlad TV talking about some, I don't know why I had to pay child support when Candy is rich and she has millions and she has all of this money and all of that foolishness. I mean, Block is just dusty. He's a bum. He's weird. He's He needs help. Um, Candy's responding. She put up this meme that said, I don't care how well I'm doing. I still need that money you owe me. And then she said, don't Block. And that's a double entendre, double meaning. Don't block your blessings. Not doing right by your children. I think Riley Burris also sent a message to her um, father on Instagram. She commented, my mom and I always try to take the high road. But honestly, it's really upsetting that I constantly have to see you bad mouthing us publicly. I was blessed to be raised in a household where my mom provided the best life I could have. 
no jealousy here. I would appreciate it if you could stop talking about us. I think she's referring to the fact that uh, Blocks Dusty Ass got up there on the uh, YouTube and basically said that he believes Riley's jealous because she didn't live up in the household with all of the other half siblings and whatnot, which I think is so dumb. And I think that's so lame to talk about your own daughter in that manner. I mean, you really, 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 really deserve some discipline for not only what you did to Candy, but Candy's uh, daughter and your daughter. Dusty ass. Anyway, so y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Are we team block or are we team candy? I mean, we're team candy over here. I know y'all already think I'm a part of the candy coded click, but I don't really care. Um, and then how y'all feel about Fallon Pena's new book? Is we reading it? <laughs> I'm cracking myself up today. All right, y'all. Love you. And don't forget to create a great day.